Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and today we're gonna be furnishing this $2 million mansion in The Sims 4. I built this in my last video, I'll link that down below, including the entire playlist because we are actually rebuilding this entire neighborhood. This is a series where we have been rebuilding Newcrest, but every lot has to increase in price and the budget for this has gotten out of control. We're at 2 million simoleons, so we have to spend all of that on this mansion today. We did spend a little bit of money on the exterior which I actually built in my previous video so I'll link the playlist down below if you guys want to check that out. There's lore, there's stories and everything. We started with a tent and now we're here. <laughs> the mansion that we're going to be building today is actually for these two twins which we've watched grow up. We've got Violet and we have Ash and up until this point we know a little bit about them. We know about their childhood a little bit from building their like bedrooms as kids and today we're going to learn a lot more about them. So I went ahead and a floor plan so that we could get right into furnishing. So this is how we're gonna lay this out. I mentioned in the last video that I wanted this side to be for one twin and then this side to be for another, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna do Ash on one side and Violet on the other. So we're gonna be starting over here with Violet's house. We're gonna be furnishing three floors all the way up. This is what our floor plan is looking like so far. So starting here with the living room, the style that we're gonna be seeing here today is going to be very like high fashion. It's gonna be get fit famous mixed with a little bit of like decor to the max, vintage glamour, probably also a little bit of Moschino. And also in the last video, I did mention that these teens are going to be very spoiled. I mean, if you think about it, they've always had money. Straight from the beginning, they were born into having money, so they know no different. They have seen their parents working hard, but they haven't really had to do it. And even though they're twins, their reactions to growing up like this are going to be very different, the way that they're gonna evolve. I think for Violet, I could see it kind of going to her head a lot more, hence why we're gonna have this like really high fashion style. I wanna say that her side of the house is gonna be the more like expensive one. And I think it would be really fun to not just have a high fashion kind of style, but to actually be in that life, like in that lifestyle. Maybe she's gonna go to school to study fashion or photography, which we can definitely bring in. I wanna bring in like an entire fashion floor onto this, honestly. We've got the space for it, so may as well go extra. We are not gonna be building anything else for these twins. Maybe we'll do like a guest room for them in uh, the final house that we build for Anna and Theo. But other than that, I want it to be something that they could potentially live into, like into their young adult life. But I do know right off the bat, I'm gonna go onto the gallery and download some good art for this. I actually followed recently this account right here, Banshee HVO. They have these paintings, which are gonna look so nice in this build. I found these and I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna work. Look at all these pictures we've got like some Dior, some Valentino pictures. They have tons of color on them. So I'm gonna download some of these and we're gonna revolve a lot of our rooms around this art with all the colors and stuff. I think it's gonna look really cool. And then also what I'm gonna do, and this is a Vlad picture, hold on. With the pictures that I just downloaded off the gallery, this Vlad picture literally <laughs> is going to be a perfect frame and it's expensive, 2,800 simoleons for a frame. Plus I think these pictures were maybe like 500 each. That's gonna be a pretty pricey thing and those are gonna be all over my build. So I think we're gonna spin around. Our living room is kind of coming together. I'm gonna be doing the bathroom, which you guys know coming in hot, we're gonna be using only this freaking 12,000 simoleon tub with the $5,000 golden toilets. I'm so over this item. I cannot wait to build a regular bathroom with regular furniture. At this point, I literally have no choice. I gotta rack up this cash. I'm gonna try and like customize some of them. Oh God, also what we need to be aware of now are game crashes. <laughs> when I built my multi-million dollar mansion, like the most expensive mansion in the Sims 4 build, my game crashed, I think twice. I'm trying to think back. I think it was two times. So I need to be on the lookout. We're gonna be saving very often. <laughs> so I added a vintage glamour clock in there. We've got all of our gold essentials over on this side and let's move out and do the main room. This is gonna be really fun to do a walkthrough in because all one floor, we're gonna be able to see everything this is such a big build. I'm gonna skip past. We have like an awkward area right here where there's gonna be like a lot of empty space. But back here, I was thinking this could be the kitchen and this could be like the dining room. So let's start there. I wasn't really sure how this style was gonna come together, but I think with the black and gold going with that high fashion kind of style, we can kind of pull it off. The reason why I was worried about it though is because we're using all of this like really obnoxious get famous furniture. And I'm trying to go for more of a youthful style, which 
is gonna be very difficult while using this stuff. It's a challenge and a half, let me tell you. But I think if I can bring in a little bit more of those like fun elements, like the vintage glamour stuff, and with all of like the bold colors and patterns that we're gonna be using, I think it's gonna work. And the reason why I wanted to go with a high fashion kind of style for Violet is because if you guys remember, I think it was in the last home that I built for Anna and Theo. I believe it was the 750K family home. We built a basement and Anna, the mother in this series, the mother of Violet, decided to pick up knitting and cross stitching. I think wherever I'm planning on putting a big picture, I'm just gonna put a picture of Vlad for now. So in my head, what I'm thinking that happened is maybe Violet was the one who hung out downstairs with Anna while she was knitting and cross stitching. And maybe that's where she fell in love with fashion, doing it alongside her mom and making like beanies and hats and stuff. Part of this build series that I think is so cool is we're seeing these styles evolve like drastically. This neighborhood is gonna look a lot different than the other one, but still has those roots and reasoning why it looks the way that it does. I have this kind of awkward area over here, which I think I'm gonna turn into a bar. Violet's dad was really into mixology, so I could see her hosting and having people over. So even though they are teens at the moment, I'm thinking that this could be maybe for like later when they're a little bit older or when they throw parties, they just have juice because it's The Sims 4. <laughs> Those little pedestals have been great, by the way. These ones here, these are worth $1,000 each. So we are no longer using regular end tables. We are only using $1,000 pedestals from Get Famous. The walkthroughs for this are gonna be so much fun. So let me show you what we did for this section. We're almost done this entire floor. Going down, of course, we've got our Princess Cordelia head on display. Our freaking Valentino Zendaya pictures, which I'm obsessed with, like obsessed. Through this side, I ended up doing our dining room. We've got a little bit of a seating area. We've got our big expensive dining table with a hutch. I added again another one, like just serving, okay? I had to put it. <laughs> We've got our decor to the max furniture as well. And this is what it looks like from this side. I'm obsessed with this. I love this style. I love that we're finally able to use those bold colors and stuff that we haven't really been using through this entire series. And then on this side, this is what our bar is looking like. I added a couple chairs there, very like minimalist, but also kind of cluttered. We've got like these vases from Journey to Batu on display. And of course our bathroom, which is right in the center. So let's go and do our kitchen. And I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't really see Violet being much of a cook. I don't think she's gonna be spending too much time in the kitchen, but I could see her being so extra that she like hires help. <laughs> the thing with Violet that I'm kind of concerned about is I think she might lose her sense of humble beginnings. What has been happening is because of her love for fashion, expensive items, materialistic things, I could see her spending some more time with Willow Vine, our villain slash rival in this entire series. I actually think I'm gonna change these to be white. If you haven't been following the storyline, a little bit of context, Willow Vine is the owner of a lot of the commercial lots in this series. We've said before she is very typical mean girl. She's spoiled. She's got everything she ever wanted, born into money. Who does that sound like? It's sounding a whole lot like Little Miss Violet. Now, I don't know if that friendship would be genuine necessarily. I feel like it's a known fact to Willow that she is the daughter of her rivals. <laughs> I could kind of see Willow trying to take Violet under her wing and like show her the robes, but in a very spiteful kind of way. I don't know, I see trouble for um, Violet. All I need in here is really some clutter and then we can go upstairs. Okay, so this is how I cluttered it up. I really like how the black and pink are kind of coming into play with the yellow, but the clutter that I added in here, I've got some cookbooks over there. I added some fashion magazines going along with our storyline. Over here, we've got our garbage and just some more clutter, some colorful things on our island. And I added these like cute little tea things in there from Snowy Escape. On the other side, I have my coffee maker and a tiny little like coffee area in there. And I like how this turned out. I think it's kind of adorable. Oh, and also in this little tiny section by the bar, I added some wine coolers stacked up just because I had the space and I needed to put some storage and I didn't want to use those freaking $10,000 plates again. All right, so let's go upstairs. Our first floor is complete and I have 1.4 million simoleons to go. Okay, so this floor, the second floor, we're gonna have two bedrooms, I think, and then two bathrooms. I have this extra little area which leads out to the bridge. So I think I'm gonna start over in this little corner here to do a work area. This is gonna be a little spot for Violet to do her homework, but also as she gets older, I could see her maybe working part-time in like a, with like a fashion 
company with a brand or something. So I'm going to be putting Dream Home Decorator has these like color swatches. So I'm going to be adding stuff like that here. We've got these like magazines, which are meant for interior design, but I kind of think we could bring that together for fashion as well. We're using these really pricey thousand dollar chairs. Let's bring in a little bit of mosquito. I'm going to bring in some like cooler kind of furniture. This has always been one of my favorites, the trunk like coffee table. We'll do some plants on here and I think I could probably get two more big pictures in here. I want to find something with the green. Green was the color that I picked for like my accent walls upstairs. So we're going to try and find something to match that in my high fashion gallery page that I found. So Vlad just kind of hang out there for a hot second. <laughs> I'll be back. And then also something I was thinking that could have sparked her passion for this as a teen and young adult could have been Anna's love for painting. So I do want to have an easel area. I think maybe painting could be the one thing that could bring her back down to her like humble beginning, bring her back down to earth a little bit. But I don't know if she's ready for that yet, but it's here waiting. It's here waiting for you. On this side over here, I want to do maybe like a small room, like a sitting room. Since this is connected to the bridge, this would be the first room that Ash would come into if they wanted to like hang out. Ash is our twin brother, of course, and he is going to have a big passion for music and reading and books. He's a lot more down to earth than Violet here, but I picture them like when they hang out just being themselves, the money issue is out the window. So I'm going to add some guitars in here. Maybe he can come over and like play guitar. Oh, he could play guitar while she paints over here. And that could be their cute little like just like home moment. I'm placing a lot of the bigger objects first and then going in and cluttering them after. So like each time we do a walkthrough for each floor, you're going to really see the clutter and everything coming together. But building these mansions requires like a strategy a little bit. So if you see me not cluttering as much as I normally do, that is why. Trust me, it will be there. <laughs> I want to do a small laundry area over here. This floor is going to be like the last normal sort of floor that we have. And upstairs is going to be our fashion floor. So I want to make sure we have everything that we need here on this floor. We're going to have our two bedrooms, which I don't know which one is going to actually be violets yet. But in terms of regular, like everyday living, it's going to end at this floor. So we've got a little laundry area there. Everything is kind of laying out the way that I want it to. And I actually really love the color of the chairs that I put in here. So I think I'm going to use them again, but bring them over to this area. And this can be a big like conversation area. I love this coffee table here from Get Famous. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And I would love to bring in the vintage glamour couch. I don't know if it's going to be expensive. Not too bad. 940. OK, I really want to use this. I feel like that matches my chairs over there. I can push that against the wall. And then I think with all the accents, I'm going to be adding like pink. So we're going to do pink clutter items like this. Maybe I could put in the corner there. I think the yellow will naturally be coming in from the gold too. So I could put like a gold globe in the back there. And then up here we can do two more big pictures. OK, this turned out so freaking cool. Honestly, shout out again to that gallery page. What the heck was it? This one, Banshee HBO. Guys, honestly, there's so many cool pictures to choose from. I found them just by searching like fashion on the gallery. But anyway, this is what we've got here. Look how cute with all the clutter. See, this is what I mean. I feel like with the expensive items here, like the Princess Cordelia head, the golden bowl of fruit, it kind of works with this style. Bringing in those gold elements. I also added, look how cute this little pillow is. This is from the new, what is that kit called? There's so freaking many. I forget what they're called. The new one, little campers. It came with a pillow, which is adorable. I'm not too fond of the swatches on there. I wish there were just like plain ones, but still so freaking cute. So I added a pink one onto the couch. Over here, I just added a clock over there, which is pretty pricey, some hanging plants and some other clutter. And then going back on this side, I added a little bit more clutter to our laundry area. I added a mosquito bookshelf for our design area. Look how perfectly this one matched to that green with the pink. Oh, it's just so perfect. We've got our clutter on this side. I added a vintage glamour clock, another Dior picture hanging up there. And honestly, these pictures have been racking up because I have one, two, three, four Vlad pictures in the back there worth 2800 each. And I've also done the bathroom kind of just going off the color scheme of these pictures, the green and yellow that we've got already are expensive freaking stuff. And I apologize for not showing um all of the bathrooms, but there's just too many to count. OK, so we have two bedrooms to do on this floor. And what I'm thinking is we could do one from her past, maybe from when she moves in as a you know younger teen to when she's reaching her young adulthood. So this bedroom 
bedroom here. We're gonna have a heavy emphasis on the knitting that we were talking about, which I think is where Violet found her passion for oh, fashion. I hate rhyming so much. This bedroom is gonna be a little bit more innocent. I think we're gonna see bright colors, bright patterns, pink get famous furniture in here. I think I'm gonna add on to this. I'm not a big fan of that item, but I think if I add on some like dream home decorator shelving, maybe it could be better. In terms of clutter and stuff, like I wanna be adding just regular shoes in here. We can have these chairs over to the side, which I love those chairs so much. Those are from the Decor to the Max kit. Okay, let's get our knitting stuff in here. So I'm gonna get nifty knitting on. We're gonna need this little basket here. We're gonna need this one so that we can actually knit. Actually, maybe this could be where she started making her first money. Like her first little job could have been knitting things, selling them just like her mom, but she's so good at it that maybe that's why she makes it big time. Okay, so we have in here our bedroom. This is what the first bedroom in the house is looking like. So cute with all the little like projects around, the knitting items. I added some clutter again, which was expensive. And these pictures again from the same gallery page. I love the pastel blue that it brought in and it matches those chairs. And maybe with those pictures, like I also added this one here, which kind of matched like the travel pictures. My guess is she probably won't end up living here for life. I think she'll probably go off to like, I don't know, San Machino or something. But this is what her bedroom is looking like first. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be this one here. This is gonna be her more adult bedroom, maybe the one that she lives in now. We're going with a slightly less expensive bed, but the black I think is gonna look really cool. I've got the vintage glamour wallpaper in here. We'll do some vintage glamour lamps. My computer is getting so slow. If you do download these lots, download at your own risk. The other ones obviously aren't gonna be so bad, but the ones that are gonna be a million and up, just download at your own risk. How also have we not broken a million yet? Oh my God, we're coming in hot with a freaking TV. We've got a bathroom in this bedroom, but I think I'm also gonna go in with some like couches. We'll do a seating area for the TV. I also think the vintage glamour like dressers could look cute in here, like this one. I also love the taller one, like this is cute. Or instead I could go in with one of these, again, go in with like a black swatch this time and do a fireplace under here. Then we're bringing in a little bit of coziness into the bedroom, obnoxiously expensive $3,000 chair, maybe like a different rug. Fitness stuff actually has a pretty pricey rug. Let's do another couch. I think there's a different kind. Yeah, this one will do like a couch over here. And with all the clutter, this is what our bedroom is looking like. So cute. I actually love that vintage glamour wallpaper. I've got these fashion pictures again, some perfume on the wall. Every room, I don't know if you guys have noticed, has this clock here, which is 1200. And if you notice this little guy, I have to get creative in the way that I'm adding these nights, but I like sizing them down and adding them as statues. I think it looks a little better because it is a bedroom. I do have the coziness aspect in here with all of that stuff. And our bathroom is a bathroom. <laughs> and with that friends, I think we are all set on this floor. So let's go up. We're gonna do the most fun floor, which is gonna be the fashion floor. And maybe we'll do a, like a guest bedroom over here, but I wanna do a photography room, I think. So let's get started in the main room. So I think first thing I'm gonna do is add like a rack of clothes. Like these from Moschino could be cool. I'm gonna add two of those in here. We're gonna get our vintage glamour mirrors that I've been using so much. And I think this is where we're really gonna see a shift in Violet's life. Her style influence is gonna change. I wanna get like even more bold patterns like this. This is where we're really gonna see like the Willow Vine influence, I think. We'll get a picture or two in here, hopefully. Vlad, <laughs> Vlad, Vlad adds like a total different vibe, but maybe two pictures in there, okay. And then out here, I wanna add like mannequins and I know it's gonna be a little bit odd, but I'm thinking maybe they can go on this wall. I'm gonna do mirrors all on this entire wall here. I'm gonna do three of these here. We can do some more like stand up dressers here. These are pretty pricey. I think there's also, yeah, let's do this one in that little nook back there. I'm thinking this could also be a spot for like if we had some clients, like later when she gets older, if she does end up in the photography or fashion career, this is where like the guests could come up and her customers could be like hanging out. So maybe we won't put a computer on here, but we'll leave this one for like drawing maybe. I think I'm gonna do another laundry area in this nook. I also need a little bit of lighting. It's kind of dark up here. I think it would kind of make sense to just have like some extra clothes hanging here, things that you could put in the dryer if you had to. And all the red, I don't wanna see any pink on this floor. Our style has evolved. And then this room over here could be, I think, 
just a guest room, but we're gonna go in with a red bed. It's gonna have the same kind of style that this floor has going on. We'll change it up and use these Moschino pedestals, which are also a thousand dollars. And then I have these like awkward nooks here from like just how I built my shelves. So I think back here could be a closet. We can use the same kind of thing that I used in the laundry room, like the dream home decorator, hanging clothes, get some lamps in here. I kind of want to add like fairy lights. Maybe this is where we could do the vintage glamour dresser and I can put the other one on this side, like right here. And then of course we're going to have our 10,000 simoleon TV and maybe this like super obnoxious red bookshelf. <laughs> And with all of the clutter, this is what the upstairs is looking like. I tried to design like two of these and I think we're gonna have to have Violet come up and do the final one because I am not a fashion designer, but um, yeah, anyway, so we're gonna have our mannequins there. We're gonna have this over here, which is our walk-in closet area. I love those red pictures that I found, the Vogue ones, the Dior. Our laundry area, I added a little bit more clutter and I did this like shelving unit here near the bathroom door because I just wanted to have more like boxes and shoes. So I added photography lights over there. I made this kind of like closet over on this side, which I think I'm going to put more storage in for photography. But we've got some more cool pictures over here. This mirror from Get Famous, which I love in a black swatch. Down the hallway, we go to our little design area. We've got our styling boards, our mood boards. I added a cork board, some cameras on there. And then our bedroom. Where did my bed go? <laughs> my bed has just vanished. What the heck? Okay, here you go. At least this this is maybe gonna be an extra amount of money. There we go, 15K again. But anyway, this is what our bedroom is looking like. Those pictures, again, making so much difference, our clutter. And then on this side, I added a simple little red rose. We've got a plant and of course, our extremely extra bookshelf over on that side. I have one bathroom over here, which I had an extra painting from the bedroom downstairs that I wanted to use. So I added that in here. I also did this bathroom, which I think this might be my favorite one that we've got on this side of the house. I added this huge picture with mirrors on both sides. I love having the diagonal bathtub in there. So we've got that and our sinks as well on that side. So this is the room over here where I wanted to add some like storage. Get Famous has some film equipment that I think I'm going to add. This is for more like film and like acting. But I think if I add it in here, it's going to look kind of not too out of place. Put that in the corner there too. And maybe also I could get another like Moschino light to put in here. Literally just for storage that you would find at any like photographer place, I guess. There's a closet in there for that, pretty expensive. And then moving along, we're gonna have our final room here, our photography room, which I kind of laid out purposely. I'm gonna add maybe these little backdrops in here, one on each side. We're gonna need, of course, our camera stand. So I'm gonna put that in here facing the right way. Ooh, it's a little squishy. Those cameras are expensive though. These ones are 2,300 each. I have to have the marking spot here on the floor so that it's functional. And I think I'm just gonna add some dim lighting in here. I don't want it to be overly dark. And then out here, I am not even close to my budget. I still have so much money to spend. I'm going to start going in and adding these TVs and we're going to add like a lot of them in here. The idea being that this is where you could come and see your like photos. Like we take the pictures and then Violet puts them up on the screen and everyone can sit here and kind of like look at them, I guess. So that's going to be the purpose for these. Not a desperation attempt at all. Since I have that decor to the max wallpaper, paper in here. I think it would be kind of cool to add in some of that furniture. It's decently expensive, not too crazy, but I really like how that matches that wallpaper there. See, this floor is totally going to be a sneak peek at what Willow's mansion is going to look like. So extra bold patterns, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun one to furnish. So with all said and done, we've got our photo room complete. This is what it's looking like. We've got all of our storage in here, all of our cameras on our bookshelf, our photo room, which I just added some little like ottomans or little poofs from Nifty Nifty. And then on this side, we have some more lighting. I added a whole bunch of cameras up here for clutter and on this bench here, our bathroom in here again with another picture that we've added. And that is going to be it for Violet's side here. All I have to do is get her to come upstairs and change that final mannequin. And also what I did is I went in and added some nights on the outside so that we ate up a little bit more money because I don't want the other side of the house to seem too extra. I'm kind of okay with the outside looking a little bit older, like I said in the last video. 
So anywhere that I could put a night, I did. <laughs> so now we're ready to get started with this side of the house, which is going to be for Ash. And this twin is going to be much different than the other one. We're going to be bringing in different styles and different hopes and dreams. I think we're going to start out building the basic stuff and then we'll get up to the fun parts later on because I want to do some pretty interesting rooms in this side of the house. So what we knew so far about Ash was that he loved to read. He was in his room a lot, reading books all the time. And he also had a love for animals. But what we also know is that he spent a lot of time with their grandfather. Both the twins did. Their grandfather was a pretty big part of their life. And I think a lot of that is going to kind of spill over into Ash's life. What I'm thinking is maybe as she got older, Violet started to distance herself from her grandfather, didn't really go there to visit all that often. Ash stayed true though. Ash hung out with him all the time. And if you guys actually remember in the basement of the house that we built for the grandfather, the million dollar mansion in the previous neighborhood, that house had a secret music room in the basement. Hidden down below, there was like this music room with all these violins. Also in the museum that we built, we had the class for like like the violin teaching. So there is a little bit of a theme of music kind of that came into this storyline. So the style that we're gonna be going for for Ash is going to be, I think like a dark academia meets music. So picture like a music teacher possibly. I couldn't really see him working for Willow Vine though, the owner of the museum. So I could see him kind of doing his own thing. Maybe also moving out of here whenever he gets the chance. But the one thing that I do see about Ash is he did not lose his humble beginnings like his sister. I think maybe from spending so much time with his family, he realized all of the hard work that they put into their life and creating a life for him and his sister. So like I said, right now, I'm kind of just like laying everything out to see where everything is going to go. I'm going to put like a reading area over here. So I'm going to have my bookshelves. We can do like a comfy spot over here. And one thing I do want to bring in as well is like a retro element. The pictures that I found on the gallery, actually, I'll show you. This is the page that I found for this style is Moonlight Seeker on the gallery. There's tons of like fun retro pictures in here that we're going to be using. A lot of what, oh God, my, oh, whew. We had a freeze. A lot of what he's going to be doing is going to be inspired from his grandfather, hence the retro feel. Maybe we're almost going to get like hipster vibes because I do plan on putting like DJ booths in here and stuff. So it's not going to be completely old school, but I definitely do want that old school kind of element. He's an old soul, you would say. Like down on the main floor, I want to bring in maybe a record player. We can put another bookshelf right here. And even though he was really into like reading and everything and spending a lot of time alone, he is by no means like antisocial. He loves to hang out with people. I could see him maybe being in like a band or something or like having friends over to just play music. So any of the bedrooms and stuff that we're going to be adding in here are going to be intended for like hosting people, having them over. And then upstairs, what I think we're going to be doing for our final room is doing like a fun gaming room or something, something really fun for the final floor. But first, let's do a really out there DJ area. I feel like this is going to be kind of strange before it gets better. So bear with me. I'm going to be putting like Moschino amps in here. We'll maybe get some like neon signs in here and I'm going to download a ton of retro pictures. I do like the Vlad frame. So I think I'm going to keep that going as long as they can fit. So let's maybe do like two pictures here and then two pictures on this side and maybe another big one like over here. And with all of the clutter, this is what it's looking like. This turned out so cool. This is going to be a fun build. So we've got all our retro pictures over here. I loved these because they kind of paid a respect to Theo Ash's father father who spent a lot of his time making juice and bartending, making money that way. So I loved those going up these stairs, those like vintage kind of pictures. We've got our record player over here, a little fireplace from Eco Lifestyle. I added a bookshelf into that like awkward bump out area. And this DJ room is so random and the pictures that I found for it are also random, but I do think it kind of has that hipster vibe. I could see this being like a fun skill that maybe we're just trying to get better at. I don't think that's going to be a career path or anything, maybe just a hobby but I added the retro TV in there from Eco Lifestyle. We've got our neon signs looking cool. We've got a reading area over to this side. I also did our bathroom over here with a spa day grate on the ground. Again, our expensive shower, bath, and toilet combo. And this is what our kitchen turned out like. I have these like B pictures that I found on the gallery. This is our dining room. We've got all our pictures in here, our kitchen, all the essentials, and we are ready to go upstairs. So up we go up here. I want to again bring in like the reading and the music 
music room. So I think over here, we're gonna be doing like a big library kind of thing. With a study, we can get some desks going in here. So let's add some big bookshelves. I need the priciest ones. I need 600,000 simoleons to go. So I'm gonna line these up along the wall here. And I think I'm probably gonna line them on the other wall as well, giving that like library feel. So all along here, I'm gonna maybe stack them if I have to. And then in the middle, I could add like two desks. So we'll do one here. And I think I'm gonna do the other one like facing this way, literally looking like a library. Wait, I never realized the back of this had clutter on it. I had no idea there was a little bookshelf back there and I'm gonna hide it. Okay, but this way we can get two computers. I'm gonna again use the pricey ones. You could practice making learning plans in there with that. We could get another pricey bookshelf over to this side. And I feel like I could see Ash being a little bit more cluttered. I think it was Anna, his mother, who was a little bit more cluttered as well. So I'm gonna add things like notepads everywhere. We'll have just books hanging out everywhere. And then I still think I have room to have like a small seating area too. So I'm gonna go in and find a couch. And then down the hall is where I was picturing the main music area. So we could get a piano here. I want all the instruments to be on display. It would be really fun to make like a club that could come and hang out here. Like we don't have bands, unfortunately, in The Sims 4. But what you can do is actually make a club and have your Sims like just make music together. The clubs come with the Sims 4 get together. So if you do have that expansion pack, it can be a really fun way to do it. So I'm gonna add these pedestals here. We're gonna go and get some violins again, some guitars, which are expensive. These could have even been passed down from River, the grandfather. I think it would be a little bit ridiculous to go out and buy like all of these, even though they are supposed to be like millionaires at this point. We'll get some guitars in here. These are pretty expensive and we're under five. Vlad, just hold this spot for me, will you please? I liked how those pictures look downstairs stacked on top of each other. So I'm gonna add those there. We're gonna fill that up with gallery pictures. Maybe we could do like a circle rug under the piano. And I think some little stools would look cool, like the jungle adventure ones right here. So with all the clutter, the downstairs is looking like this. We've got our library room in here slash like music teaching room. I've got all the clutter on the table. The bookshelves are all full. We have a bathroom over to this side, which I did start to add more of the like in-game paintings because I feel like they do match this like older, like dark academia kind of style. So library looking cool. And then out here, I did a seating area. I actually think I'm going to replace this here with some of the frogs because I kind of forgot that we had all those frogs at the parents' house and then I didn't add any in here. So I'm going to put these no gold frogs in this build today, but that's where we can keep those as a little like throwback to how we grew up. I've got a laundry area over to this side because again, this is going to be the last floor until we get up onto the weird like gaming floor. And then our music room, I'm obsessed with those pictures that we found with the blue and the orange. I think they look so cool with this like black and gray. We match the guitar over here to the paintings as well. And then this is what it's looking like from the other side. So I have two bedrooms to do left on this floor. Then we have the final one of the twins house to do. So let's start with like these ones here. I think these are both gonna be guest bedrooms and then ashes can be upstairs. So we'll get our bed. And again, I'm picturing just like his friends staying here overnight. Maybe he's hosting pretty often. I feel like he's probably a little bit of like a partier maybe, which is kind of funny because you would expect Violet to be more of like the social one, but I do have a feeling she's lost her way a little bit. She's gotten all cut up in this lifestyle. Whereas honestly, I don't think Ash could care less about the money aspect of this. I don't think he's gonna be as money driven as the rest of his family. I think he kind of just wants to hang out and have a good time. So we'll do a dresser over here. I added a guitar. I'm gonna keep it pretty casual, I think. As casual as possible with the 10,000 TV coming in here. We could do one of these like expensive speakers. I feel like those are kind of retro. So I'll put that in here as well. Actually, these kind of fit too. These are pretty expensive, 2,100 each for these. So I'm gonna put two. Maybe we could get a microphone in here as well. So with everything added, this is what the bedroom looks like. This is our first guest bedroom. I've got the rock pictures on the wall, tons of clutter going on, our plants, some CDs I stacked on top of the stereo there, our TV and some pillows and fairy lights for coziness. We've got our bathroom in here, which again, I'm just adding some like pictures in there to our Vlad picture. And let's go over and do this bedroom over here. So this one's also gonna have a guest bathroom. I feel like this one is gonna be similar to how Ash's style could be for a bedroom. Like this could have been maybe his previous bedroom. I want this one to be a little bit darker than how the styles that I've been decorating with. This is gonna be interesting too, because right next door is Violet's bedroom and they're kind of showing some similarities a little bit. I wanna bring in a little bit more of that dark academia. So I'm gonna add these leather chairs over here. Maybe we could add like a trunk coffee table there instead of being like the modern mosquito one that we've been using. This one's an older style. It's very 
dark in here. I like how it's like a little bit more mysterious than the other house, but I am going to add some wall lights. I like the like bar style ones that we used in the museum that we built. So I'm going to be putting these here. So with everything for this bedroom, this is what it's looking like. I added these lamps here from vampires and those pictures again from that same account that I've been using. I added a couch over to that side, a seating area over here with some more like small little things that I've been sizing down and placing. I put some pictures on the wall going again with that like dark academia hipster vibe. Our bathroom over to this side, I used some like exposed brick for that so that we brought in that element as well. Expensive paintings in here and we still have so much money to spend on the upstairs. So going up to the final floor, we're going to have a bedroom in here. This is going to be an entire gaming area with another bathroom. In this room, I want to be all just for fun. I think we need some time to like let loose. Maybe that's the reason how he's been able to stay so humble. He still has like fun, hangs out with his friends, whereas Violet seems very like into the business. Like I think Ash is going to understand where he came from, respect the hustle, but I don't think he's going to be about that life. That's why up here I want it to be all about fun. I want to put games. I want to put the bar there. Oh, I want to add these. If we could get two of those in here, that can go back here maybe with like the button basher too. Like this could be the arcade area. We'll get the fairy lights in here and I want to add some like unique decor in this air in this room. Oh, Get Famous has these. If I could shrink these down and use these as like wall decor, that could be kind of fun. Like maybe they could go above these like archways here. I want to have a dartboard. Maybe I can put that in the corner. We'll do a jukebox in here as well. I'll put that right there. Maybe we can get some more guitars, more instruments. We'll do a TV over here in the corner. Let's do another big like retro stereo. That one is actually so cool. Are those cups on there? What is that on there? Vlad here and a Vlad here. Actually, I don't know who that vampire is, but you're going here. So our upstairs gaming room is complete. Look how freaking cool this turned out. I added some bookshelves over here. I added this streaming drone on top of that like mosquito pedestal again. Cozy area over there to watch some TV. We have our foosball table, some fun like retro art that I added. This one I thought was extra funny because it's kind of the point that we're going for here. This is a place to stop studying and relax. We've got the bar area over here and then through this way is more of our like neon gaming room. We've got the button basher over here with those like really cool gaming pads that I added. Some more expensive art on the walls and I finished both of our bathrooms. So we've got this bathroom complete over here and we have this one here as well, which I have 159 left to go. We have to do one more bedroom over here, which I think is going to be uh, Ash's actual bedroom. And then after that, I'm going to have to go in and start adding more things like maybe some more nights or something to eat up some more money. But for our final bedroom here, I think I want it to be similar to the one that we did downstairs, but a little bit more clutter. I want this one to have more of like a lived in look, an older style, very cozy. Ooh, maybe we could even bring in a little bit of like the industrial vibe, kind of throwback to the old house. It's so dark in here. I need some lights. I think the one thing we can take away from this is that going forward, the two twins are going to take their family heritage with them in different ways. Ash is going to be bringing forward the humbleness, the down to earth kind of vibe. Whereas I think Violet is going to be the one bringing forward the business aspect, making the money, keeping the family name in the rich neighborhoods. Honestly, it's funny because I could see Ash running off and like living somewhere in a tent. A Strangerville rug in here matches perfectly with those cats and dogs chairs. We're going to do a dresser over to this corner. Yeah, that budget is not going anywhere. So after finishing this bedroom, this is what it's looking like. I added another little froggy in here. We have all our paintings on the wall, our bookshelves. These paintings will look so freaking cool in here with like that dark academia style. I feel like that is the key to bringing in the hipster look. Some little fun items like that old stereo. I have my bathroom complete in here as well. And we have 89,000 simoleons to spend. I think what I'm going to do, I really liked that idea with the knights sized down and any of these things here that are really expensive that I can shrink and make look good. So this little knight, I'm just going to shrink all the way down. We can put that there. Ooh, maybe I could put one like on the bar or in that little skull shelf. I think on the bar would be kind of funny. <laughs> we could do two. We could do one there and then one on the other side of the bar. And then honestly, maybe to the more empty bathrooms, I can add some more paintings. So I'll go in and add like this one in here. I think there's a few that could probably use some. So we'll go like that. I think I could even add some in like some of Violet's bathrooms too. Like this one here, I see need something. Maybe we could add the magazine things for her. Okay, 50K, we can do this. Where can I put some paintings? There we go. That looks kind of cool in there. Violet's house could definitely use some more gold. This night is a book wait. <laughs> I have a 321 left. I'm 
I'm just gonna find some kind of like clutter item to put on this shelf maybe. Like I can raise up this bookshelf and put it up there. Maybe some pencils I can put around. There we go. Oh my God, so cluttered. $31. If I can get a plant or a box, let's put a box. Box of clutter right on top of this little ottoman here. And we are done. Our $2 million build here. This is crazy. This is insane. Again, if you're gonna download this, download it at your own risk. But this is what it ended up looking like. Fit for two twins. Even though they were raised in a similar environment, they are very, very different. And I think that's kind of evident by this build today. So that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.